Hello sunshines and welcome to Two Days Play Undertale by Toby Fox. I'm DeValiente and I'm playing with my friend Bon, whose channel you can follow in the link in the description below. Though Bon has played this game before, I have not, so I'm in the driver's seat this time. Warning, this video contains strong language and graphic imagery. Discretion is advised. Now without further ado, let's get started. So yeah, we're gonna go back in, we're gonna do this date. Uh, and I do want you to do the True Lab stuff, but we'll do that another day. True so, Lab? Yeah. Is that like True Pacifist? No, no, no. So it's under True Pacifist. Oh. Um, in order to get the True Pacifist ending, you have to do the lab. the tr What's called the True Lab. Okay. So basically you're going to go... Uh, what will happen is you would end up uh, seeing the secret part of the lab that you didn't see before. Okay. But you can't even do that until after the date. Mm. So, um, by the way, mm -hmm. um, I so uh, like I mentioned before, you started recording. I watched a speedrunner do uh, the true pacifist route for Undertale, and uh, <laughs> <laughs> There are so many things I didn't realize that would make you so mad. <laughs> I love when you start a conversation like that. <laughs> like, like you worked so hard to beat Papyrus. Oh no. I didn't and... though. No, you didn't? Did he? Did I ran you... away. No, okay. Uh, maybe I'm wrong, but I seem to recall... Because you can either like uh play it all the way through to the end but if you end up like dying three times to him or not dying because he just puts you in his store like his garage right but uh, if you do that too many times basically he feels bad for you and let just lets you go <laughs> so i don't remember how we did it but if that's if I if that's not trying to like flee or give him mercy yeah. So I don't remember. It's it's been so long. I don't remember. All I remember how we is it. that like we were arguing about whether or not I could just keep mer giving or mercy or fleeing or whatever, and you're like, no, I don't think you can do that. Yeah, and I don't. Rem I, I really just, don't remember. Yeah, and I was like, I'm gonna fucking try. <laughs> but um. Yeah, there's just, like, a bunch of, like, little things that I had no idea that would have made your time so much easier. Yeah. That's fine. We had fun. We had fun. But, um, definitely I will send you this, like, speedrunner later. Mm hmm Uh, because I watched him do some of these fights and I'm like... He's like, this is easy. And I'm like, uh. I hate you. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Honestly, what we should have done, we should have gotten the Temi armor, like, hella early. Yeah. I don't even think he got the Temi armor. Oh my god. Yeah, because, um, uh, to do the speed run, there's a lot of stuff that you have to actually, like, really skip by and uh like there the, he found ways to like uh trigger skipping the dialogue oh my god so so like if you save right before certain dialogue um dialogues and then as they start it you quit out and then enter back in when you talk to them next they're like oh you want to skip this okay <laughs> oh wow excellent yeah. okay right. We are at Undine's house, or Undine, or however you pronounce that name. Doesn't seem like anyone's home. Okay, where is she then? Maybe Wasn't you have to go it... back. I thought she Maybe... was living with Papyrus and Sans. Oh yeah, you're right. That she was crashing on their couch. Yeah, because I, I thought you had told me that. Oh that no, was no, no, the... that was no, at, that the, was end. at the, the end. She lost her job, and now she's living on our couch. Yeah. <laughs> She's okay. Yeah.
So we never actually get to see the inside of her house. No, we do. Oh, we do? Uh, yeah, we do. I should have worn a few million more pairs of pants today. <laughs> what? Because it's chilly. Okay. You know those people who infinitely layer up. Yeah. Tra la la. Okay. To la Burberry. La Burberry. La Burberry. Okay, so she's not on the couch. Let me talk to her. Welcome to my scenic my welcome to scenic my house. Enjoy it and take your time. Okay. She Maybe knows. she's in the kiss kitchen. No. Well, okay. Hold on. This is a tall ass sink. Forget it. Okay. Okay. One moment. Because they said that you don't need to restart if you've never killed any monsters. Oh, do I have to restart? This is my brother's pet rock. He always forgets to feed it. As usual, I have to take responsibility. The rock is covered we... in sprinkles. <laughs> yeah, we poured water. We poured on water our on her. Yeah. Interesting. Um, maybe you have to trigger it by walking back from Hotlands to Undyne's Cave. Okay. <laughs> I don't understand. Because when I watched it... Yeah, yeah. Do we have to talk to, uh... Alphys first? No, I don't think so. We hung we hung out with Papyrus after our fight with him. We right. gave her a cup of water. Mm -hmm. And then you're supposed to hang out with her and do a cooking lesson. Um, okay. I'm very confused. <laughs> like, I feel like we hit all the requirements. I wouldn't the... know. <laughs> so, like, is it you have to manually trigger it? Maybe. It's got a long ass trick. Because supposedly when you get to Undyne's house from the Hotlands, mm -hmm. uh, Papyrus is outside waiting to introduce you to her. Okay. Oh, this is, I think, permanently lit up because you beat it now. Oh no, it was just about to dim. Oh, was it? Okay. Mm -hmm. So it's starting to dim now. Mm. Wow. Wow. So I was watching a um, uh, game composer, like, listen to some of the individual themes from Undertale. Oh, yeah. Um, and just, like, react to it. Um, so the first couple he did, he had never played the game. Mm. Um, but it was really interesting how he was able to identify, even without playing the game or knowing any of the characters, some of the core themes around that character, just oh, wow. based on the music. Um, like, he listened to Asgore's theme. Mm -hmm. And, um... Oh, that's nice. Luke. Yeah, that's this one. And... 
Seriously. <laughs> it's a living. It's a living. I don't understand. Um, pacifist walkthrough Undertale guide. Okay. So let's say we get to Waterfall. We have the checkpoint. Sands. Bridge. Oh yeah, if you do the genocide route, uh, Flowey finishes all the puzzles for you. Oh, thank you, Flowey. What are you? Yeah. Okay. We never killed anyone, right? No. I didn't kill anybody. Maybe we talk to Elfies first, but yeah, go talk to Elfies and see if that will. Okay. I guess I'll go the other way because it's going to take a minute. <laughs> It's like, I'll just walk back to Snowden, no biggie. Oh. What is this thing? Three gold for a fairy? Yes. Hop on. Where are you taking me? <gasps> Where are we? Thanks for stepping mm -hmm. on my face. Here's three gold. Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay. Uh... Hey, it's Washua. Everything's so dirty. If I could erase everything, I would. Oh. Uh oh. Don't get the wrong idea. I don't want anyone to die. I just want them to be gone. People turn to dust when they die, and that's hard to clean up. <laughs> yeah, okay. So we we don't have any experience in love, correct? No, we don't. Do we need to have experience in love? No, we, we absolutely do not. Yeah, I don't have any experience in love. That's a weird fetish. I don't understand, because after fighting, we got the date with Papyrus, right? Yeah, and he showed us around his house. And then, and then after fighting Undyne, I remember telling you to walk back to her house to befriend her. But she but wasn't if there. I, but she wasn't there. Spoilers, what to do after a neutral ending. Did you, uh, I'm, I'm busy looking this up. Mm -hmm. Uh, did you end up with Alfie's? I'm, uh, back in hot, uh, Hotland and I'm about to talk to Alfie's. Hmm. There's no response. Oh. Did we do something wrong? I... I really feel...
Maybe maybe talk to Asgore and then come and Asgore then start is to dead. No, no, no. Remember we restarted, so that never happened. Oh. So talk to him and then don't do because you know he gives you that chance to go do other things. Right, okay. And then come and then start walking back to MTT. Okay. <laughs> There's hard mode. Mm -hmm. I forgot to tell you, if you put in the the true character's name, it's mm. uh uh it enters hard mode. No thank you. Okay. Mini player full screen settings, playback speed two, make this go real fast. <laughs> this is where he's supposed to be, right? Yeah, but he wasn't there. Oh, there he is. Okay. Hi, buddy. Okay, maybe now we can leave. Go back. That's really... Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah, it's like I really don't want to have to fight you. <laughs> now for the long trek back. Yeah, he takes his- bless you! Thank you. Nope. Oh. <laughs> so why does this one have animations and the other one doesn't? Oh. oh, I think we did miss something. Uh oh. Go Dang. back to Papyrus's house. Okay. How dare! <laughs> you could just run at this point. Yeah. I've got it. <laughs> That's that literally you. you. Yeah. That is literally you. Mm -hmm. Oh wait, where the fuck am I? Okay, if it turns out that we have no choice but to restart, mm. if that's the case, then I would play it on my own. Right. To get to the point of being able to do it mm -hmm. properly. Because I don't want to subject you to playing the whole thing again. Right. You, you've done your time. You've done a good job. I mean, if I could keep the Temi armor, I wouldn't no, be fussed I about don't, it. I don't think you can do that if you reset. Then I quit. <laughs> yeah. That's why I was like, if... Because I really do want you to, like, see um, the date and everything. Mm -hmm. 
but I think we forgot to trigger something with Papyrus, because I don't remember looking at the video that I'm looking at right now. Right. I don't think we remember to trigger it. Buddy. Take me to Snowden, the opposite of where we are. I heard Asgore has a favorite food. Butterscotch pie. Um, so if you, yeah, so apparently, you know how he showed us around his house? Mm -hmm. Apparently after he showed you everything uh, in the house, mm -hmm. you're supposed to talk to him in his bedroom. Oh, okay. To begin hangout. I did that. I'm pretty sure I did that. No, I don't think we did because it triggers a fight screen. Oh. So let's go to his bedroom. Okay. Okay. Talk to him. So, um, if you've seen everything, do you want to start the date? Yeah, and we forgot to fucking do the date. I want to say that we did this, though. No, okay, I don't think we did. start. I think we misunderstood. Okay. As him going around his house is the date. <laughs> Here we are on our date. I've actually never done this before. But don't worry. You can, can't can spell prepared without several letters from my name. I snagged an official dating rule book from the library. The library. We're ready to have a great time. Let's see. Step one. Press the C key on your keyboard for dating... Hugged. Hud. Yeah. Son. Oh, wow. <laughs> Wowie! I feel so informed. I think we're ready for step two. Step two, ask them on a date. Egg. Ahem. Egg. Egg? Where? Oh. <laughs> Human, <laughs> I, the great papyrus, will go on a date with you. Yes. <gasps> really? Wowie! Like the dog radar. I guess that means it's time for part three. Step three. Put on nice clothes to show you care. Uh... Wait a second. Wear clothing. That thing on your body? You're wearing, wearing clothing right now. Not only that, earlier today, you were also wearing clothing. No, could it be? You've wanted to date me from the very beginning. Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> no! You planned it all! You're way better at dating than I am! <laughs> no, no! Your dating power! <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Don't think you've bested me yet! Attention. I, the Great Papyrus, have never been beaten at dating and I never will! I think I... this is your first date. <laughs> I guess so. I can easily keep up with you. You see, I too can wear clothing. In <laughs> fact, I always wear my special clothes underneath my regular clothes. Just in case somebody happens to ask me on a date. Behold! Oh no. <laughs> yeah! What do you think of my secret style? I love, love it. it. <laughs> No! A genuine compliment! <laughs> However, you don't truly understand the hidden power of this outfit. Therefore, what you just said is invalid. This date won't es escalate any further. Unless you find my secret. But that won't happen. Move and inspect with Z. Cool, dude. There's no secret to my legs. Just hard work and perseverance. Is it the cool hat? dude. Cool dude. Cool dude. This shirt didn't originally say cool, but I improved it. Expert tip, all clothing articles can be improved this way. Oh wait, previously it said dude? I guess so. My, my hat. My hat. My hat. <laughs> well, 
Well then, you found my secret. I suppose I have no choice. It's a present. A present just for you. Open it. Spaghetti. Do you know what this is? Of course. Spaghetti! That's what you're thinking, isn't it? Right. But oh, so wrong. This ain't any plain old spaghetti, pasta. This is artisan's work. Silk and spaghetti, finely aged in oaken cask. That sounds disgusting. Then cooked by me, Master Chef Papyrus. Human, it's time to end this. There's no way this can go any further. Eat it. Oh, don't do that, baby. You take a small bite. Your face reflexively scrunches up. The taste is indescribable. Ooh. What a passionate expression. You must really love my cooking. And by extension, me. Maybe even more than I do. <laughs> ah, ah, ew. Human, it's clear now. You're madly in love with me. Everything you do, everything you say, it's all been for my sake. Human, I want to, you to be happy too. It's time for me to express my feelings. It's time that I told you. I, Papyrus, I, um, boy, is it hot in here or is it just me? <laughs> oh, oh, shoot. Human, hi. Huh, I'm sorry. I don't like you the way you like me. Romantically, I mean. I mean, I tried very hard to. I, I thought that because you flirted with me. That I was supposed to go on a date with you? Then, on the date, feelings would blossom forth. I would be able to match your passion for me. But alas, I, the great Papyrus, have failed. I, I feel just the same as before. And instead, by dating you, I have only drawn you deeper into your intense love for me. A dark pa prison of passion with no escape. How could I have done this to my dear friend? No. Wait! That's wrong! I can't fail at anything! Human! I'll help you through these trying times! I'll keep being your cool friend! And act like this will all never happen! After all, you are very great. It would be tragic to lose your friendship. So please, Aww. don't cry because I won't kiss you. Because I don't even have lips. And hey, someday, you'll find someone as great as me. Well, no, that's not true. But <laughs> I'll help you settle for the second best. <laughs> I'm back. Oh, and if you ever need to reach me, here's my phone number. You can call me anytime. Platonically. Well, gotta go. <laughs> I can't believe this entire time we fucking forgot to trigger the actual date. I, okay. I, so now we go to Undyne's house? Let's try that now. I just like, we were like, oh, he showed us our house. That's it. Yep. Yes. Take me to the waterfall. Yeah. Then we're off. I'm just, oh my god. I love papyrus. Also, um, remember that key that they sell for um, in the uh, in the alley? Yeah. Yeah, that's to Sans's room. Oh. I don't know why they have his key. Why does any like why anything with so? <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna save here. Yeah. No, that snaps a look. <laughs> hey, Papyrus. There we go, finally. Oh ho, the humans arrives. Are you ready to hang out with Undyne? I have a plan to make you two great friends. 
probably, yes. I will hang out. Okay, stand behind me. Psst. Make sure to give her this. She loves these bones. I don't think she actually loves. Uh, hi, Papyrus. Ready for your extra private one-on-one -on -one training? You bet I am. And I brought a friend. Hi, I don't think we've... Uh? Why don't you two come in? <laughs> Stupid little dance. Here, Undyne. My friend brought a gift for you. On their own. Uh, thanks. I'll, uh, put it with the others. <laughs> At least she's polite. So, yeah. are we ready to start? Whoopsie doopsie, I just remembered. I have to go to the bathroom. You two have fun. You don't have a blood. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, why are you here? To rub my vi your victory in my face? To humili me humiliate me even further? Is that it? No. Then why are you here? <laughs> Wait. I get it. You think I'm gonna be friends with you? <laughs> right? Yes. <laughs> really? How delightful. I accept. Let's all frolic in the fields of friendship. Not! Why would I ever be friends with you? If you weren't my house guest, I'd beat you up right now. You're the enemy of everyone's hopes and dreams. I will never be your friend. Now get out of my house. Dang, what a shame. I thought Undyne could be friends with you. But I guess I overestimated her. She's just not up to the challenge. Ch challenge? What? Papyrus, wait a second. Uh, darn it. He thinks I can't be friends with you? <laughs> what a joke. I could make friends with a wimpy loser like you any day. I'll show him. Listen up, human. We're not just going to be friends. We're going to be besties. <laughs> I'll make you like me so much, you won't be able to think of anyone else. <laughs> It's the perfect revenge. Why don't you have a seat? Okay. Sit down and progress? Yes. <laughs> Comfortable? I'll get you something to drink. All set. What would you like? <laughs> hey, don't get up. You're the guest. Sit down and enjoy yourself. <laughs> um, why not just point to what you want? You can use the spear. Uh, let's see. Sugar goes in tea. Sickly yellow liquid. Hot chocolate green cylinder. Okay. I actually don't think <laughs> a blatantly correct choice. Yeah. Tea, huh? Coming right up. I mean, I could just drink sugar, that's fine. It'll take a moment for the water to boil. <laughs> okay, it's all done. Here we are. Careful, it's hot. It's not that hot. Just drink it already. <laughs> you take a sip of the tea. It's burning. But other than that, it's pretty good. It's pretty good, right? 
Nothing but the best for my absolute precious friend. <laughs> hey. You know, it's kind of strange you chose that tea. Golden flower tea. That's Asgore's favorite kind. Actually, now that I think about it, you kind of remind me of him. You're both total weenies. <laughs> sort of. You know, I was a pretty hot-headed kid. Once, to prove I was the strongest, I tried to find Asgore. Emphasis on tried. I couldn't land a single blow on him. And worse, the whole time he refused to fight back. I was so humiliated. Afterwards, he apologized and said something goofy. Excuse me, do you want to know how to beat me? I said yes, and from then on, he trained me. One day, during practice, I finally knocked him down. I felt bad, but he was beaming. I had never seen someone more proud to get their butt kicked. Anyway, long story short, he kept training me. And now I'm the head of the Royal Guard. So I'm the one who gets to train dorks to fight. <laughs> like a <uh>, papyrus. <laughs> but, um, to be honest, I don't know if I can ever let papyrus into the Royal Guard. Don't tell him I said that. He's just, well... I mean, it's not that he's weak. He's actually pretty freaking tough. It's just that he is too innocent and nice. I would agree. Yeah, I mean, look, he was supposed to capture you. And he ended up being friends with you instead. I could never send him into battle. He'd get ripped into little smiling shreds. <laughs> That's part of why I started teaching him how to cook, you know? So, um, maybe he can do something else with his life. That's cute. Oh, sorry. I was talking for so long. You're out of tea, aren't you? I'll get you some more. Wait a second. Papyrus. It's cooking lesson. He was supposed to have that right now! And if he's not here to have it... You'll have to have it for him. That's interesting logic. Yep. <laughs> That's right. Nothing has brought Papyrus and I closer than cooking. Which means that if I give him, give you his lesson, we'll become closer than you can ever imagine. <laughs> Afraid we're going to be best friends. Ow. <laughs> Let's start with the sauce. Envision Is that a banana? I guess so. <laughs> and a carrot. Envision these vegetables as your greatest enemy. Now, pound them to dust with your fist. How will you pound? Strong, wimpy. Up to you. I'll do strong. You punch the vegetable at full force. You knock over a tomato. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! Our hearts are on uniting against these healthy ingredients. Now it's my turn. Yeah. Damn. Ah, we'll just scrape this into a bowl later. But for now, we add the noodles. Homemade noodles are the best, but I just buy store brand. They're the <laughs> cheapest. Nah. <laughs> Yeah! Ah, just put them in the pot. How will you put them in? Fiercely careful. Fiercely, you throw everything into the pot as hard as you can, including the box. It clinks against the empty bottom. Yeah! I'm into it! Alright, <laughs> now it's time to stir the pasta. The uncooked pasta. As a general rule of thumb, the more you stir, the better it is. Ready? Let's do it. Proceed to repeat it. Okay. Stir Keep harder. Going. harder! Harder! Ugh, let me do it. D oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> That's the stuff. 
Is this all how right. all her lessons go? I guess so. All right, now for the final step. Turn up the heat. The heat wasn't already on? Let the stovetop symbolize, symbolize your passion. Let your hopes and dreams turn into burning fire. Uh, something's gonna happen, sure. Ready? Don't hold anything back. All right, uh, hold right to turn up the heat. Yep. Oh. Hotter. Hotter. Oh, darn it. Ugh, let me do it. There we go. <laughs> Did your house burn down? Yes. Perfect. Ah. Man, no wonder Papyrus sucks at cooking. Um. So, what's next? Scrapbooking? Friendship bracelets? <gasps> oh. Who am I kidding? I really screwed this up, didn't I? I can't force you to like me, human. Some people just don't get along with each other. I understand if you feel that way about me. And if we can't be friends, that's... that's okay. Because if we're not friends... Rivals? It means I can destroy you without regret! I've been defeated by my houses in shambles! I even failed to befriend you. That's it. I don't care if you're my guest anymore. One final rematch, all out on both sides. It's the only way I can regain, regain my lost pride. Now come on, hit me with all you've got. Yeah! Undyne is letting you make the first attack. Uh. Act, act, act. act. Let's see what there is for act acting. Undyne, fake attack. <laughs> you pretended to swing at Undyne with all your might. <laughs> what? That's the best you can manage? Even attacking at full force? You just can't muster any intent to hurt me, huh? <laughs> you know what? I don't actually want to hurt you either. At first I hated your stupid saccharine shit, but the way you hit me right now, it reminded me of someone I used to train with. Now I know you aren't just some wimpy loser. You're a wimpy loser with a big heart. Just like him. Listen, human. It seems that you and Asgore are fated to fight. But knowing him, he probably doesn't want to. Talk to him. I'm sure you can persuade him to let you go home. Eventually, some mean human will fall down here. And I'll take their soul instead. That makes sense, right? <laughs> oh, and if you do hurt Asgore, I'll take the human souls, cross the barrier. And beat the hell out of you. That's what friends are for, right? <laughs> now, let's get the hell out of this flaming house. Oh, damn. <laughs> well, that was fun, huh? We'll have to hang out again another time. But, uh, somewhere else, I guess. In the meantime, I guess I'll go hang out with, Papy hang with Papyrus. So if you need me. Drop by Snowden, okay? Oh, and if you ever need help, just give Papyrus a ring, okay? Since we're in the same spot, I'll be able to talk too. Well, see you later, punk. Oh, wait. This is sudden, but... Can you... Hey, wait. Your inventory's full. Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, well, I'll be at Papyrus's. Come see me when you have less stuff. Okay. Uh, we should have walked around her house and looked around first, but oh well. I don't think we could have. No, uh, I, you could have. Oh, okay. You just, because you went straight to the seat. Oh, uh, yeah, you're right. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, I think Rizzy wants to come in. Yeah, no problem. Come on, Rizzy. No, you're not Rizzy. Not 
Okay, bye. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna put the nice cream back too. I don't know why I keep trying to click it. <laughs> it's so funny that we missed all this just because yeah. we forgot to talk to Papyrus. Just, just one thing. Just one just little one thing. tiny thing. Oh, baby. Are you tired of the puppies? Are the puppies up and about now? Um, no, but, um, dog and, uh, little man are still puppies. Yeah. Temi Village. The room before the darkening lan lantern room. Secret one. That nobody knows about, supposedly. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Come again sometime, tra -la -la. Hey, it's Undyne. Hey, buddy. Um, so, I have a favor to ask you. Uh, I need you to deliver this letter to Dr. Office. Um, why don't I do it myself? <laughs> well, uh, it's kind of personal, but we're friends, so I'll tell you. Hotland sucks. I don't want to have to go over there. So here you go. You got the undine. You got uh, the undine's letter. Okay. <laughs> oh, and if you read it, I'll kill you. Thanks so much. You're the best. Okay, bye. <laughs> what do you think it is? Um. It is either a letter telling them to rent a U-Haul and move in together, or it's a letter uh, saying, asking for them to go on a date. Yeah. Because <laughs> I don't think the U-Haul joke was prevalent in 2015. Thank you for joining us for today's play Undertale by Toby Fox. If you enjoyed what you saw, please leave a like, a follow, and ring that notification bell so you know when the new episode drops. Let's keep the comments chill so no hate or spoilers as we're not above removing those comments and the people who make them. That's all for now, folks, and we'll see you next time.